Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about velocity time graph which is a form of graphical representation of motion of a body wherein we plot velocity against time in a Cartesian plane. So let's see how do we do it. Let's say we have a Cartesian plane with x axis and y axis. We will take time along x axis and velocity along y axis. So now let's say we have the in, an information about the velocity of a moving body at some instant of time. Now we will have to plot all this data here in this Cartesian plane. So our first coordinate point will be 10, 40. The second coordinate point for us will be 20, 40 and so on. So on plotting all these points here and joining all of them, we get a straight line which is parallel to x axis. So we notice here that the velocity of the body is not at all changing throughout. It is 40 meters per second not even decreasing or increasing throughout the journey. So here the velocity of this body is a uniform velocity and whenever there is a uniform velocity of the body we get a velocity time graph which is parallel to x axis or time axis. Now what about the acceleration of this body? We know that the acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. But here we do not have any change in the velocity throughout. So we can say that there is no acceleration at all. So the acceleration here will be zero. So whenever we see a velocity time graph which is parallel to x axis, we can conclude two things. That is the body is moving with a uniform velocity with zero acceleration. Now let us try to plot this velocity time information on a Cartesian plane. Now our first point will be 0, 0 which is here in the origin. The second point for us will be 10, 5 which is here. The third point will be 20, 10 which is here. Similarly, we plot all the points and on joining all these points, we get again a straight line. But this line is not parallel to x-axis. It is, it is unparalleled or it is inclined to x-axis we can see. So, now let us study the velocity of this moving body. We see here that it was 0 when the time was 0 seconds. When the time became 10 seconds, it, it was 5 meters per second. When the time was 20 seconds, it was 10 meters per second and so on. So it is increasing by 5 meters per second every 10 seconds. So it is uniformly increasing. Or we can say that the body is moving with a velocity which is uniformly increasing velocity. And now let us try to find out what will be the, what will be the nature of acceleration in this case. Now we said that it is, a, it is moving with a uniformly increasing velocity which means a constantly increasing velocity. Now we know that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Now here the velocity is uniformly changing which means that the acceleration is constant in this case. So here the acceleration is constant. So whenever we see a velocity time graph which is a straight line and not parallel to x axis with a slope which is positive we say that the body is uniformly moving with a uniformly increasing velocity and its acceleration is constant. Now let us try to infer what this velocity time graph means. Now this velocity time graph is again a straight line but it has a negative slope. Now this kind of velocity time graph means that there is a body which is, which is moving with a uniformly decreasing velocity and whenever there is a decrease in velocity we have negative acceleration or retardation. So here in this case the acceleration is constant since it is a straight line but it is negative since the slope of this line is negative or the slope of this graph is negative. 
Now let's say we have a velocity time graph which is of this kind. Now we don't see any a line which is uh, parallel to x-axis or with a negative or a positive slope. It is all mixed up. So in this case, we can say that the body is moving with non-uniform velocity. And the acceleration is also variable since it is not the, a straight line throughout. So on seeing a graph like this, we can infer that the body was moving with a non-uniform velocity with a variable acceleration which is not constant. So this was all about velocity time graph and its different kinds. And I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.